This is our presentation on the Cymothoag sequa, otherwise known as the tongue louse. <clears throat> so what is the Cymothoag sequa? Known as the tongue-eating louse, it's an isopod and a fish parasite. It's the only organism to replace an entire organ of its host. Its main targets are fish, not humans. Um, as you can see on the right, there's a picture of the tongue louse. The males are approximately 7.5 to 15 millimeters long and 3 to 7 millimeters wide. The females are approximately 8 to 29 millimeters long and 4 to 14 millimeters wide. The classification for the Cymothoa, um, it's an isopod, they're in the phylum Arthropoda, um, they're in the same phylum as lice. They're not closely related, but they're similar to other insects like spiders, scorpions, and crabs. So continuing with the classification, the parasitic isopod belongs to the Cymothoidae family. Um, that's in the order Isopoda. And all members of the Cymothoidae are parasites. Uh, most of them, if not some of them, live in the uh, buccal activity that's the mouth. Some will even live in the surface of the host or burrow into the host flesh. So, how the cymothoa latches onto its victims? Um, the cymothoa enters the fish through the gills and clamps onto the tongue, while the mate faithfully follows it and latches onto the gills. Uh, once on the tongue, the parasite will then suck on the host blood. Um, continue with the latching. Uh, during the process of the extraction of blood, the parasite will use its claws, causing the tongue to wither and fall off. And the first eye attaches itself to the new role of becoming the tongue. And on the right you can see how it's kind of uh, already replaced the tongue in the fish's mouth. So what kind of effect does this have on a fish? Uh, well, there are multiple variations of effects to the host. Um, a lot of scholars agree that one of the most common thing happen is to change the sex of the host, um, causing the host not to be able to reproduce, um, preventing the host to grow, um, giving those diseases and death. <laughs> All right, how the Simothoa breeds. Uh, the protection being inside the fish provides the parasite an ideal site for breeding. The Simotho uses internal fer fertilization, like other isopods. Um, the male inserts sperms into the female's reproductive tract, which will later join the eggs in her body. The female parasite carries the eggs in her pouch once fertilized. Alright, continuing with the breeding, the female would usually breed about 480 to 720 eggs, but only an average of 200 ever actually mature. Um, the female can only reproduce once. Um, if there's two males, one of the males will fight for dominance and the loser will become the female. Alright, the Simothoa life cycle. The eggs hatch and form the polis stage. Um, that is a genderless stage. Um, after it's matured, it molds into the second pole stage, which looks more like an adult. <laughs> Researchers say that this stage doesn't become sexually mature until it has left the root pouch, at which point it's called a manca. Continue with the life cycle. The manca leaves its original host and swims in search of a new one. Once it finds a host, it develops pre-adult features, and it's known as a juvenile. Um, it acts like a male, but... Uh, can turn into a female if necessary, uh, if there's two males present like we discussed earlier. 
The male organs regress and the immature female ones develop as the gender changes. And here's a diagram of the life cycle. And it just kind of explains um, the growth and the reproduction and what the uh, what the what the cymatholia exigua is doing in each stage. The male to female exchange. Um, once the parasite enters its host to the operculum, it travels to the mouth and matures into a male. If there is no other parasite present, when it reaches the mouth, it becomes a female. Um, continuing with the exchange, if a male later reaches the female, reproduction will occur. Um, only the female attaches to the muscles of the tongue. Uh, the male that fertilizes her attaches to one of the arches supporting the gills um, for his time in the host so that he can uh, reproduce. Can the cymatholic zero latch onto humans? And the answer is no. While the fact is these creatures are known to evolve quickly, they have a very short lifespan. And not only that, um, we do not live in their environment. And we are too big for them to actually have a large effect on us. But when humans do handle the parasite, it can leave bite marks. Um, what do they taste like? Uh, they taste like shrimp. Um, I don't know who figured that one out, but <laughs> they were feeling pretty adventurous that day. Uh, what type of fish do these cymatholics you would go after? Um, seven species of persiforms, three species of snappers, three species of croakers and drums, one species of grun, one species of grunion, one species of Atheriniforms. And here is an overview video. Somatho exigua, or the tongue eating louse, is a parasitic isopod of the family Cymathoidae. This parasite enters fish through the gills. The female attaches to the tongue, and the male attaches on the gill arches beneath and behind the female. Females are 8 29 mm long and 4 14 mm wide. Males are approximately 7.515 mm long and 37 mm wide. The parasite severs the blood vessels in the fish's tongue, causing the tongue to fall off. It then attaches itself to the remaining stub of the tongue, and becomes the fish's new tongue. Using its front claws, C. exigua severs the blood vessels in the fish's tongue, causing the tongue to atrophy from lack of blood. The parasite then replaces the fish's tongue, by attaching its own body to the muscles of the tongue stub. It appears that the parasite does not cause much other damage to the host fish, but it has been reported by Lansing and O'Connor that infested fish with two or more of the parasites are usually underweight. Once C. exigua replaces the tongue, some feed on the host's blood, and many others feed on fish mucus. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to view more. Samatho exigua, or the tongue eating. Alrighty, are there any questions? Alright, and these are our references. And that's it. Thank you guys.